we're back. And off to the dark world we go. Now, technically, and this is a big technically. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. We do have ether to open Misery Mire. That's this dungeon over here. We're not doing Misery Mire yet. <laughs> We're nowhere near where I would like to be when it comes to taking that dungeon on. So... Part of the reason why we're here is that heart piece. And there are two other things we can get in this area. Uh, one of them, we have to be all the way over to the right here. And you want to use... Well, if you're not standing on that rock in the light world... You want to be over here. What this is... There's an area down here where there's another heart piece. Uh, that will allow us to almost get another heart container. And I believe there's one more thing. I don't know if we can do it on this side or not. I want to try. Uh, you're just another one of those juicy story guys. I I guess what I can do is um, I'll actually show what those stories are, but it's after we get everything uh, that I know we need. Maybe it'd be part of the bonus. I don't know. It... Yeah. Alright. Uh... Let's... Yeah, that's fine. I need to head over to the town real quick anyway. Because we need to head into the dark world from this area and then head south. I think this is the fastest way to do it. I'm not entirely sure. So, if it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, it is never meant to be like a, the most efficient playthrough. So, we're here to have fun. Let's go ahead and do this. Since I'm already in the town. Once you actually grab the... Hey, like, get your tempered sword. There's a box here. Because the key is locked inside the chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Yeah, you are escorting a chest. Now you may be wondering, what in the world are you supposed to do with this thing? Um, I know in some area, there's a thief in the Lost Woods uh, that mentions a guy that used to be in their gang, but no longer is. And they, all, they kind of mention him being near the desert. So this is, we have to take this to him. Now, the only way to get there is by way of walking. You cannot sprint because you will leave the chest behind and you have to go grab it again. And you can't warp because same thing. You leave it, you have to go grab it again. But head over here, use your mirror, comes with you. 
And this is the guy. You heard it. You heard that... I heard that you know I used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open a chest for you. Will you keep it a secret from everyone else? Would you please promise? Promise not to tell. Tell it to everyone! No, we're gonna promise not to tell. And it has a bottle. And you can use it to store items. Alright, yeah. But yeah. Oh no! I'm gonna use that heart. Eh, that's fine. Alright. We want to be back in the dark world. Uh, because we can now also get the final... I guess we could have actually gotten it before we went to Dungeon 4. I didn't grab it. Um, but... Because I thought you actually needed the, the Titans meant for it, but you don't. I you want to come over this way. Oh, my bad. Now we can actually deal with these overworld enemies pretty easily. You want to come inside this ring of flowers and use your magic mirror. This is it's a sure way to know that you're inside of that. Oh, I forget. This is for this. Okay, my bad. That was something else. All right. <laughs> um. My bad. That, that wasn't for the. That wasn't for the spell. That was for <laughs> a piece of heart, which we did need. Don't get me wrong, but I kind of. Um. Actually, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Most of all the heart pieces? We only have four heart pieces left. Oh my goodness. I know where one I know where one of them is off the top of my head. I don't hmm. I'm not sure where the other ones are right now. I know that like as soon as I see where they're supposed to be, I'll know it. It's just I'm trying to remember where all of it is. Alright. That being said. Here it is. Uh, da, da, da. I did that a little bit inefficiently, but it's fine. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Bombos. This is the destructive spell that kills everything. As it clearly showed there, it killed the bird. This is the Bombos Medallion. It makes magic. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Now, Bombos is a real expensive spell. It doesn't... It, you'd want to be careful. <laughs> Let's just throw it out there. But we do have most of the dungeon... Most items in this. Uh, there's... Uh, yeah. It's crazy, because... The final dungeon will... Okay, yeah, I remember where all, what all of them were. All right. Uh, so, honestly, let's just go over here. I don't... Enoxes still take quite a bit of damage. <laughs> They're insane. And Mr. Hoppity now only takes one swing of a sword. Alright. Uh... Oh no! Well, uh, that that's not gonna affect anything here, so we're fine. Also... Oh, wait, really? Not yet? Uh, maybe I need... Uh, I could have sworn that... Could... There we go! Nice. That's just really... All right, this is actually Dungeon 2 of the Dark World. I forget the name of this dungeon in its entirety. Mm -hmm. well, what was I going with that? Uh, let me actually see what the name of this dungeon is. Uh, this one is called... Swamp Palace. 
Anyway. Link, it is I, Sarah Hastala. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of anything changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. He's telling you, hey, you can't do anything in this currently unless you do something in the light world. Now, if you remember back in, like, episode two, uh, we had a, a, a thing happen here in the light world where we got a piece of heart in that lake. Now, the only... It, but, and I was confused as to why it just shut itself back. I guess you, one can make the argument that, oh, the knights saw it and they pushed it back. I, I don't know. But we need to reopen this. Ow. Jeez, what a jerk. Oh. I meant to do this. Why did I have the cave? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're stealing all my magic. Just wanted to get healed. Jeez. No. Let's have the boomerang. All right. And, as you can see, the Swamp Palace now has water in it. Now we can actually access the dungeon. Now, the rest of this dungeon is going to be easier for us because we have the Tempered Sword. Um, you're technically not supposed to have it, even though you can. Uh, so we're going to be able to kill a lot of things quicker. Thanks to that. There we go. And we need to bomb those. What? How did how did that not hit me the first time and then hit me the second time? I didn't move. You got the man. That anti-fairy stole half of my magic, so I'm a little bit salty about that. <laughs> Alright, um, got skeletons. Oh, yeah, those. Uh, essentially, those things, they will only fire off a fireball if you swing your sword. And if you hold your sword button down, it will continually swing. Uh, continually swing. What? Continually shoot the fireball. Now, you can, as you can see, use other forms of attacks to deal with them. But, eh. It's not. Sometimes it's easier just to swing the sword and just make sure you're not in the, the way. Uh, oh, come on, man. There we go. How are you? Um, is... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not a fan of how this video works. Once we get everything, I don't have to worry about it, but uh, it's it's a thing. All right. Move the switch over, and now the ravine, or I don't know, whatever this thing is, we're good. All right. Don't have the big key yet, so we can't do anything about that. Well, 
I can do is search for a key. And go this direction. Also, the fire bars are annoying, so just be prepared to deal with those. Because apparently, I don't know why, but this, the dark world loves using them. There, it, it's a hazard. I, I get it. it. Not a, not the greatest thing to deal with. again just to move across that little bit so out of here slimes trying to remember everything <laughs> in this dungeon. It's one of those that just... It isn't hard. It's not like the Dark Palace. It's just... It's very non-linear. Well, I take that back. It is a lot, very much a linear aspect to it. Um... Think this one? Yeah. That only has 20 rupees, though. Uh, then we gotta go back up. Yay. But I did say I was going for 100%. That includes opening all chests. Ooh, that was close. Fix that. Because <laughs> of course the game's gonna make me do that. Jeez. It's like, oh no, I needed to make it easier to get across here and just completely forget that I actually needed it on orange. <sighs> That's the one thing I don't like about this dungeon is that it makes you choose the long route just because it can to impede your uh, go through at the dungeon and it, it it's irritating it really is It's a thing, I guess. Uh, whatever. Alright. Alright. 
All these have five rupees, and that has the big key. This is also one of those dungeons that using the magic mirror is a bad idea. You do not want to be going to the beginning of the dungeon. Because it, it just takes so much longer to do that, so you might as well make the trek back. It's unfortunate, but eh, whatever at this point. Alright, our dungeon item is the hookshot. It extends and contracts boing, or boing, and then it's a hookshot. Uh, it can grapple many things. It, it also works kind of like as a pseudo... Um, also a key there. Uh, it works as like a pseudo boomerang. Uh, it's able to uh, stun things. And also, one thing that's really great about the hookshot is it gives you iframes while the hookshot is extending. So if anything tries to attack you, you're, you're going to be fine. You don't actually get hurt at all. Wait, there, there, there's a thing down there? There is. I completely did not show this. Damn it. Well, obviously, because otherwise it would have been highlighted on the map that I did that. But weirdly enough, there's nothing here. Except the compass. <laughs> it's like, hey, that's weird. That's, there's nothing here. Oh, there's the compass right there. Okay, I would have actually completely missed that. <laughs> Anyway, let's go through here. Um, I think you want to take the right path first. Um, no, I was incorrect. You want to take the left. Good. Uh, it's fine. Everything's just fine. I don't remember if there's a. No, there's not a key under that. And there's nothing after that. Okay. Don't need to deal with those monsters. something. Yeah, I, I remember what I'm missing. Gosh. Okay. Because of course I miss it, and it's just... Eh. What you want to do is you want to push the statue onto the switch, and then go to the right side. At no point does it really ever indicate, hey, both doors may have opened, but yeah, that's what you need to do. Also, I glitched that guy out. And in doing so, boom. You open the drain. You get a heart out of it, so eh, it's fine. You want to head over this way. And you may be able to see there are two uh, doors here, but you... Uh, well, two exits. Two other exits, but you there's only one door. It's behind this waterfall here. Actually, I think this might be the real way to go. 
Yeah, I think it is. Whoops. Um... Yeah, because that's the boss. And I don't have a key. That's where the key is. Alright, I need to go back. Uh, get out, no. Actually, no, I think the key's over here. Yep. But... I still haven't shown that other room. It really isn't much of anything. Oh my goodness. The current is so bad. Ugh. There we go. Nope. Alright. But I'm going to show the other room. I feel like I should. So, I will. It's this. It really isn't anything. It's just a supply room. Was it really worth going back? Meh. Nah, maybe not really. We spent most of this episode in this dungeon. <laughs> Golly. I think this is... Well, actually... Dungeon 4 took a good, good amount of time, too, so... But I also did make a goof. But it's also showing some stuff. Alright, this boss... I don't remember its name. That's the name of this guy. Nice. So... Now, normally, you would have to do a few sword swings on these guys uh, to actually deal with them. But since we have the tempered sword, we can just take care of it with one sword swing instead of two. makes this part of the fight way easier. You do have to wait for him to drop down like this, and you can then do spin attacks. He does move in a, well, <laughs> in a typical fashion of going around, bouncing off the walls. If you... It, this is kind of where Majora's Mask got its evil eye uh, idea of a boss fight. You know, like the giant eyeball that stares at you and has a bunch of bubbles around him? That boss. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. But at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the k evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Yeah. May the, light, uh, may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. All right, we're good. Well, we already knew that piece of wisdom that the Maiden imparted on us because we've used those quite a bit through this adventure already. Now, we do have... Um, 
a few things that have opened up to us thanks to having the uh, hook shot, but I'm actually not going to do it. Uh, the things that are open in the overworld lead us to dungeons. Well, technically eight. It's where the seventh maiden is. Um, so I'm not going to actually do it for that reason, because that's going to be one of the final-esque areas. And I don't want to just use it willy-nilly, you know? All right big reason why I actually was bringing up the uh, thing here when I was looking at it was to make sure I knew where all the heart pieces were so I wasn't fumbling. Because I felt like I might need to do that. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. I already know of one that I missed. We need to be in the light world for this. What was down here? Oh, it's a fairy found no matter what. Alright. Make this a quick way to get to the area. Uh, okay. So, this one's only available after you defeat Aghanim. I was not sure exactly when it was unlocked. I just remember it happened after, like, some Dark World stuff, but it's actually just when you defeat Aghanim. So... In the lumberjack area, you remember the uh, lumberjacks that were cutting down, or cutting this tree in particular. Well, you have to ram it to show that it's hollow inside. Drop down, and we find ourselves a fairy fountain. But also, this piece of heart. That's one of the four that we have left. Um, uh, what, what were you doing? Jeez. Also, they do a good job of putting those leaves back up. Come in here, they're not here, so it's kind of weird that they're just gone. I don't know exactly what happened with it, uh, but yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so uh, I'll. Oh, okay. I know where the other three are. So yeah, and the other three that we have are all related to Death Mountain. So we'll deal with that when we start doing Death Mountain stuff. Jeez, that was rude. Um. I kind of just want to get my heart back. Um, very simple, I think. Don't know why I couldn't leave there for a minute. All right, never mind. So in the next one, we'll be dealing with Dungeon 3 of the Dark World. Uh, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. We're almost done. So... That is it for now, and we will finally kind of deal with some of the, uh, hopefully some of the problems in the, the dark worlds and make it a better place for the golden, or the golden land, actually. It's known as the dark world, but it technically is the golden land. So... We went from a dark palace to a thieves' town, which is, that's what the actual, 
uh, hideout. It, it was the Thieves' Hideout was the fourth dungeon. Then to the Swamp Palace. And this one, well... Oh gosh, this dungeon. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a fun, fun one. So join us when we deal with Skull Woods. See you guys then. Later.